What's up, guys? War here. Welcome back to the channel. We are in day two of season two of Season of the Blood of Diablo 4. And I kind of wanted to go over how the um, pack system works and how to kind of utilize it and use all of the um, items that come with it to apply certain packs that you need to complete everything, right? So we're going to go over here to my stash and kind of break down a lot of stuff and show you how I do this and how really cool it is to kind to kind of like customize the build that you want to what you actually need for whatever gear that you're wearing right um and whatever vampiric powers that you're going to wear so i'm going to pull out all of my stuff here so we are going to have our three different packs that you get we have our cleansing which is going to remove all the packs from an item so for example like all the packs on here i'm just going to right click and then left click and it removes all the packs on there okay um, then we have Pack of Eternity, Pack of Divinity, and Pack of Ferocity. Now, to where you find all of these items, if you guys don't know or you didn't look at the notes or anything like that, we uh, you find them in the Vampiric Helltides here. You find these from just killing monsters, opening um, the crypts, um, completing the turn-ins from uh, Tree of Whispers, and you can just collectively just get these things, right? So that's where you find them. Now... I want to put these boots on. I really like these boots. Okay, we're going to slap these boots on. Now, we have a problem here. Okay, so this is how this system works. We have all five of the vampiric powers that I want to use. The left number, which is highlighted in gold, is the number of that particular pact I have on my gear. So I have five, and the gray is how many packs I need from the vampiric powers that I'm using. So I have, I need, I require five. And I have five for my gear, so check. We're all good. But see, now we have an issue. I need seven for Divinity and seven for Pack of Eternity, but I only have four and I only have six. So I need three more Divinity and one more Pack of Eternity. So a lot of people think that it's like pretty simplistic, and it is. But for those who don't know how to get it or they didn't think that they could change certain things, it can be really tough. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our Pack of Eternity. And the same thing, you're just going to right-click. I'm going to put this on my boots. Okay. We added one. So now we have all the packs of eternity that we need. Now, if you notice, one thing on our equipment here is, if you can see it is, packs granted, it's a one out of three. Each gear piece has a maximum of packs that you can um, have on the gear, whether you cleanse it or not. You can't add any more than three, and you can have less than three. So you can have less than three, or you can fill it up. So if we add our two divinity to our boots right now we have a max packs granted three out of three if we go back to our powers we're still one short on divinity so we have to look at our gear pieces and figure out where we can add something this one's full four out of four this one is four out of five so our gloves here we could go add a divinity to our gloves and if you notice when you go to add a pack and you right click it's going to gray out all the items that are full. Jewelry you can't apply on, but only your gear pieces. So everything that's grayed out is already full. So I could add it to my helmet, which is a 3 out of 3. It would make it a 3 out of 3. It currently has 2 out of 3 on it. Or I could just add it to my gloves. I really like these gloves. These gloves, I just need to find one that would basically replace strength with Blood Surge, because that's the build that I'm playing. Otherwise... I'm not going to find any gloves that are really much better than this. So we're just going to add it to this. Now we go to our vampiric powers and we have everything checked off. Now, when you're looking at your powers under the activation cost, this has three packs of ferocity. So I have to have three packs of ferocity for this to work. Okay. And that's all you have to do. People think that there's an activation, like you have to activate it somehow with a, with like a keystroke or a button press on your controller. That is not the case. All you have to do is have the required amount of packs on your gear, and then you apply the secondary effects of the power. So, for example, I have three packs of Eternity on this, on my gear pieces, right? Because I have five. So this required three of my five. Now, whenever I get a lucky hit, I have a chance to increase my attack speed. So that's just always going to be there whenever I lucky hit. I have up to a 20% chance to increase my attack speed, 20% of my total move speed for six seconds, which currently is a 26% bonus. 
So when you're looking at all these, like this one has six of our seven packs of Eternity, but it's a very, very strong Vampiric Power for our build. This one requires two. So this one and this one, Prey on the Weak and Revenous, take four out of our five. This takes two, and that one takes three. It actually takes all five. So these two packs cover Pack of Ferocity. This one is six of our seven Divinity, which gives us a chance to curse our enemies. And then we have Sanjuri Embrace, which this is an option one. I really like this one because it fortifies me and makes me really tanky. Otherwise, the thing that I would swap for it is Metamorphosis just to have some Unstoppable, which is probably going to happen whenever we finish the um, quest line, in which case we're going to have to change some things. I think everything else will be covered. But that is how your packs work, guys, in Season 2, Season of Blood. It's a very simple system. I wanted to try to break it down as easy as I could for everybody and just make it to where... It's easy to understand so people aren't overwhelmed and think that you have to activate something or you can't change the packs that are actually on your gear pieces because you 100% can. And you can use whatever you need to make your vampiric powers work. So guys, that's how the new system works in Season 2. That's the seasonal theme, the vampiric powers. And again, you could just right-click and take those out and then you can go put it back in. So let's see. Uh, we did have anticipation in here, which was really, really cool for our cooldowns. But we like Sanjuri Embrace for the Fortify whenever we kill an enemy uh, because of the crit strike chance. So, guys, that's how that works. Like the video. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think uh, about the seasonal theme. It's kind of subpar and considered with all things considered of the new changes. But I do find it really, really cool. Just added some extra flavor to your characters. So let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.